coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. UVFI claims new Guinness World Record with 5,293 formation display drones. Airbus acquires UAS program. And AAIB publishes Vertical Aerospace VA-1X UAS Accident Report. And I'm your host, Talon Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. UVFI claims new Guinness World Record with 5,293 formation display drones. UVFI is claiming a new Guinness World Record for the most unmanned aerial vehicles airborne simultaneously. The event took place in Songdo, Korea, where UVFI orchestrated a display of 5,293 IFO drones that lit up the night sky. The fleet of IFO drones created intricate patterns and visuals above the crowd, showcasing UVFI's programming and drone control technology. The record-breaking feat exceeded the previous record. Hyun Lim, CEO of UVFI, expressed his enthusiasm for the achievement, stating, quote, This event was not just about setting a world record. It was about a demonstration of the innovative spirit and relentless pursuit of excellence that drive our team at UVFI. We are proud to lead the way in drone technology and to showcase our capabilities on the world stage here in Songdo, end quote. Robert Cheek, COO of UVFI, added, quote, Today's achievement is a milestone not only for our company, but also for the broader potential of UAV technology. The flawless execution of such a large-scale drone show underlines our commitment to excellence and our ability to push the boundaries of what is possible in synchronized drone performance." End quote. The event was carefully planned in cooperation with local authorities and air traffic control to ensure safety and compliance with all regulatory standards. After the break, Axon to acquire D-Drone. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. Axon to acquire D-Drone. Axon has entered into a definitive agreement to acquire D-Drone. Ultimately, upon completion of the acquisition, D-Drone will reportedly strengthen Axon's ability to help customers safeguard their communities, improve response to critical incidents, and protect even more lives in more places. Axon founder and CEO Rick Smith said, quote, By combining Axon's 30-year legacy of innovation with D-Drone's cutting-edge airspace security solutions, we aim to revolutionize public safety once again, end quote. NOAA issues space weather report. Good old Seoul was having a bit of a fit this past weekend. NOAA space weather forecasters observed at least seven coronal mass ejections from the sun, with impacts starting on Earth midday Friday, May 10th, persisting through Sunday, May 12th, so far. NOAA's GO-16 satellite captured activity at sunspot AR-3664 that occurred around 2 p.m. Eastern on May 9th. NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center subsequently issued a rare geomagnetic storm warning. SOCOM gets some goodies from General Atomics. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems has embarked on a partnership with Shift-5, allowing them to integrate the firm's, quote, onboard cyber anomaly detection and predictive maintenance capabilities, end quote, to U.S. SOCOM's MQ-9A Reaper UAS. The Shift-5 partnership will, quote, assure AFSOC and SOCOM mission readiness and cyber survivability, end quote, by way of some nifty software. 
Pivotal gets design awards from Muse. Pivotal got some bragging rights after their Helix eVTOL won the 2024 Muse Transportation Design of the Year Award, with the company itself netting the Platinum 2024 Muse Design Award for technical and creative excellence. It's always nice for up-and-comers to build up some excitement for their upcoming products, and the Helix is plenty fresh enough to use the buzz. The Helix will be Pivotal's first production aircraft. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Airbus acquires UAS program. Airbus has completed the acquisition of U.S. based Aravel and its unmanned aerial system, Flex Rotor. Flex Rotor is a small tactical unmanned aerial system designed for intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition, and reconnaissance missions at sea and over land. The Flex Rotor, a modern VTOL unmanned aircraft with a maximum launch weight of 55 pounds, has been designed for I-STAR missions for more than 12 to 14 hours in a typical operational configuration. It can integrate different types of payloads, including an electro-optical system and advanced sensors to suit customers' unique mission needs. With the ability to autonomously launch and recover from either land or sea requiring only a 12 foot by 12 foot area, the flex rotor seems well suited for expeditionary missions requiring a minimal footprint. Through the support of the US DOD and contracted deployment in a variety of maritime security exercises, the flex rotor is a mission proven force multiplier for operations in harsh, high threat, GPS denied environments. The flex rotor is also being operated for para-public missions such as forest fire surveillance, providing firefighters with critical images day or night, and can address other demanding mission needs, including ice navigation, helping guide naval vessels through ice in the Arctic Ocean, law enforcement, and border patrol. After these messages, AAIB publishes Vertical Aerospace VA-1X UAS Accident Report. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Flying is my entire life. It's all that I've ever known. I've relied on Hartzell propellers since about 1995. Hartzell means much more than a propeller. It's a relationship. When you hear the phrase, built on honor, they care about us as pilots, they care about our community, and they care about the product they build. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. AAIB publishes Vertical Aerospace VA-1X UAS Accident Report. The AAIB has disclosed its findings after an accident befell an unmanned remotely piloted test vehicle, which suffered a forced landing following power unit failure at the Cotswold Airport, Gloucestershire, on August 9, 2023. The report notes that, quote, the aircraft was being flown by a remote pilot on a test flight at 30 feet AGL when a propeller blade detached from the electric propulsion unit 3 forward motor due to a failure of the adhesive bond between the propeller blade sheath and spar. Large out-of-balance loads generated by the blade release caused structural failure of the right inboard pylon, resulting in damage to the aircraft's wiring harnesses. This caused a loss of thrust from motors 4 and 7. Whilst the aircraft's flight control system was able to maintain a level attitude, the high rate of descent caused by the loss of vertical thrust resulted in substantial damage to the aircraft when it struck the ground. The aircraft manufacturer was, at the time of the accident, in the process of introducing a blade design that, amongst other things, eliminated the bonding failure mode that caused the blade release. The manufacturer's investigation identified 36 product and process improvements resulting from findings of the investigation. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.